Hi everyone, welcome back to Super Mario 64 with Glitches. This is going to be the last main episode of the series, but I am planning something to do uh, after this, which is why I've included that little title card at the start there. But um, for this episode, I guess the first thing I'm going to do is read this thing, so I don't remember what it says. Yeah, please walk... I don't know why it says that. That's right, that's one of those weird things about this game. Please walk quietly in the hallway. Anyway, the real reason I came over here is so I could do this. Because obviously this is great. It's cool you can move him from side to side as well. Just looks just looks brilliant, you know. Love it. It's all the little things about this game that make it so great, you know. If we couldn't do things like that, there'd be no replayability. Anyway. Still uh still don't know what the deal is with this painting. I guess maybe this was originally gonna be one of the levels because in this game originally I think there was gonna be like thirty levels or something. Maybe this could have been It makes me think of that uh those stages in Yoshi's story if you've played that where I, th I think if you look at this picture and have played the game, you'll instantly know which ones I mean. It's like, uh, I think it's called the Tall Tower. I think there might be other ones that look like it. Anyway, wasting time. Let's do a backwards long jump to get inside the 50 star door because I still haven't opened it and I'm still not going to open it. So hopefully this won't take me too many attempts. There we go, cool. So I already talked to this toad, got his star a couple of videos ago, so I can actually just head straight into the next level. Which is Rainbow Ray. Let's do it the stupid way, like this. Now, it must get it. I mean, I could just kind of wall kick off this other platform, but I really want to do it this way, so it must happen. You can see how it's possible, I'm just bad. Maybe if I'm a little bit closer to it. There we go, cool. So, funny thing about this level for the total number of coins in it, it has the same amount as Bob on Battlefield, so the first and the last level both have 146 coins in it. Uh, and we're going to do that star first. So, this level kind of sucks casually, in my opinion, because there's a lot of downtime in it when you're like standing on these flying carpets. Let me just show you the speed that they move at. It's pretty slow, and, and you know, like for a scrub, that's how you would have to get around this level. You sort of take it, and it goes all the way up the rainbow, and you can see there's more paths that you have to slowly follow. There's one that I'm going to not be able to avoid, really, but I can avoid all but that one. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to go for all coins for now, so let's just do some cool moves to get up here without the carpet. Get these nice 8 coins. This fire can't actually touch you unless you jump into it, so this platform is actually pretty safe. So I'll just jump back down to the entrance and I'll jump down to this section here. Probably take damage, but it's no big deal. Fly guy can be a little scary if I can just get him to come into the middle here. I can punish him and everything will be good. So I already know that there's no enemies or coins down on this lower section. All that's down there is a one up. But uh so I'll have to bother going down there. Cool, took damage but got coins so it didn't count. If I just head over here onto these donut blocks. I mean everyone calls them that and I guess cause it's because of like the sort of ring on the side, but yeah. It just makes me think. Like any time I hear someone say that I just think this doesn't look like a donut and I have to remember that they're talking about the side the graphic, I guess. Anyway, let's just keep going. Uh, I'll jump on the SpongeBob. There's another SpongeBob later on in the stage as well, which we'll probably end up using a couple of times because I suck at this game. Just kidding. But um, yeah, so over here is a star that I'm not going to get right now, but since I'm already here, I might as well grab the one up. These things change really quickly, so you, you do need to be quite quick. Uh, but I, I mean, I guess I should probably cover this when I actually get to this star or decide to do it. But we're almost done with this little side area here. That Goomba that I killed, by the way, is is pretty terrifying. He can actually easily walk off the side of the stage at any random time. And if he does that, you know, his coin is gone, which is bad, obviously. I should have really killed this Lakitu here first, because his coins can go all over the place. Try and get him somewhere in the middle. Try and get all five of them. Okay, cool. That was, that was good. So I will come up here. Because there's... Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, there's there's two carpets that I need to take in this level. This is one of them. I forgot about this one. The reason I have to take this one is because there's, like, this lone coin. Like, I mean, I could probably get to this one without the carpet, but there's one away up there, as you can see. There's no way to get that, even if I were to jump from higher up and survive. So I've got to take the carpet really slowly. Bit unfortunate, but no big deal. So, actually, where I want to go next is back... I think I want to go back down. Actually, e uh, no, we'll go this way first because I can climb up a little bit more of the stage. So you don't want to jump on this platform here. If you just turn the camera around like this and jump, he'll grab this. And this whole bit here is actually pretty 
trivial to get around without the carpet. You just do a side flip and make it up there. It's really easy. There's the first star of the stage. I'm not going to collect that for now. Uh, actually, I, I just realised that I should not have come up here yet. There's something else that I had to do that I've just remembered before I came up here. Uh, it's okay though. I can show different routes for getting up here at least. That'll be fun. Oh uh, god, that coin was going everywhere. Let's just kill this guy. Luckily, the sort of edges of this boat prevent the coins from falling off. Unless you kill the enemy too close to it, which, uh, which would suck. If this was a DS version, I could turn these guys into eggs as Yoshi and every one of them would have a coin. Which would make 255 possible in this stage. Okay, that was a little scary. I thought when I jumped there that he was gonna actually like still be blown by the wind. So the reason that I needed to come up here later is because I need to get over there. There's a chucky there with five coins in it and I haven't opened the cannon yet. So that was a bit of an oversight by me. But it's okay. Uh, I, I will get those coins later actually. I'm gonna go down here and get all the red coins first. Actually I'll get the ball bombs first because these guys as we've seen a few times with these, with the bob bombs, they can walk off the stage, and it's it's really terrifying. Please don't go. Okay, so it's a good idea to kind of get them in here, and that way, if the coin comes back, I can pretty easily get it. There's the other SpongeBob that I referenced earlier. Okay, so let's use some cool moves to get up here, in a pr kind of a backwards way, really, going about this way, and probably the opposite of how they intended, but that's okay. Makes it more interesting can do little wall kicks all over the place. There's a lot of ledges you can accidentally grab though which kind of sucks. So I'm going to activate the red coin star here. I'm not going to pick it up because there's a much much longer star in this level which I'm going to combine with 100 coins and that red coin star is like really easy to get. Whoops. So there's quite a few blues here. As soon as I get up to the top I'm actually going to get the 100 coin star so I need to be careful that I don't grab this immediately. I want to get the rest of these coins first. Cool. And I'll talk to this guy. Open up the cannon, this is going to let me get some extra coins as well, and also allow me to access another star later, but I'm not going to get that in this uh, in this um, run. I'll get it a bit later on in the video. So here we go, there's the 100 coin star, the last one of the game. I'm at 121 coins, as you can see I'm almost maxed out actually, there's 146 as I said. Best way to do this, wall kick off of this, and if you hold right early enough, which obviously I can't do and I'm gonna die, god damn it. Hopefully there's a heart back here, I think there is. And if you run into them quickly you get more health compared to if you run into them slowly. So just a little friendly uh, hint for you guys. But um, yeah, if you can like wall kick and then hold right you can get up here. From here I can just do all this stuff and actually let me just just grab this and then long jump here. Should give me a... No oh, no, I suck. I mean, not really, that's not really my fault, uh, sometimes you'll still bonk, but typically if you do what I just did there, and like, sort of grab the ledge of that thing, then you have like just the right amount of speed to long jump and make it over there, so let's try again. Cool, that's what I wanted to happen. So the reason I came over here was actually just to, I mean these bubble arms already killed them, don't have to kill them again. Came over here to get in the cannon and shoot myself over to where the chuck yet is. I'm gonna try and land on the pole so that he doesn't grab me. Let's just see where he is. Okay, cool. Let's just pick him up. So we're safe now. I just slowly take him over. That box there has a star in it, but I'll, I'll come back for that later on. Just try and grab all of his coins before any of them go. Right, I think we're basically safe now. Uh, I mean, getting down from here is going to be a little bit scary. Let me think what the best way to do this is, because the camera is not really great. I guess I could go, yeah, onto this thing here. That should work. Hopefully I don't take too much damage. Just a little bit. That's fine. So I'll just do what I did before. Actually no, I'll go down here. Because I want to get on this carpet. This is the other carpet that I need to take, not that one, this one. Best way to get around these donut blocks and all the other obstacles is just to keep backflipping. Because uh, it gives you so much height and, uh, you know, it's just safer. He says, almost fallen off. God damn, right. Need to just be a little bit more careful here. In the DS one, there's a star switch on this platform in front of me. It was kind of a hard one to get BCC-less or block cannon coinless, as you might remember from my playthrough of that. Which, if you haven't watched, by the way, I totally kinda recommend it. I think it was one of my weaker ones, but I think if you enjoy the frustration that I sometimes show in these videos, you'll probably like that series a lot. So, inside here, that fireplace actually will burn you, even when the flame isn't on, I believe, but I'm not gonna actually test that because 
if you're off the carpet for like a couple seconds it vanishes and you actually can't really get to the top of this place without the carpet. So just gonna keep going here. There's some some yellow coins on one of these blocks here. This bit's a little bit scary because like you're off it for a few seconds, like because you have to be, and it starts to flash like that. Flashes for a few seconds before it vanishes. But yeah, you can sort of see where this is going. 141. So one more line of five, which is right in front of us, will bring us to max coins for this stage. I did practice this stage quite a bit. Uh, well, not not like a lot, but like a, a bit before. I recorded this because I, I just just to make sure I remembered where all the coins and things were, and uh, I'm really surprised that this went off without a hitch. I really was expecting to fall into the abyss a lot of times, and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy that I didn't. So taking this one all the way up uh, for the like, if you were to try and do this game without any like caps or cannons or whatever, the star that I referenced earlier, where is it? Let me see if I can find it. Camera's not great up here. Yeah, over there, like with the pole where the chuck is. If you do a backwards long, like if you sort of wall kick up here before the elevator or the platform gets all the way up and then do like a backwards long jump like that, you can actually build up enough speed from the platform as it rises up to make it over there. But as far as we know, it's TES only or tool assisted only, I should say. I guess not everyone would know what TES means. Anyway, that's that star done, uh, the longest one in the game. Well, I don't know if that's actually true, but it's, it's definitely up there, you know? God, Mario's animation still wasn't complete there. There was still a couple frames after I counted all those coins before it let me regain control. But anyway, the rest of this stage is, is pretty okay. I can just do a wall kick here to get up here quickly. I'm going to head back over here. There's a couple ways that you can sort of quickly get up to the high parts of this level, but the way I'm doing it right here is, is the way that I prefer to do it. It's, it's almost, I mean well, actually it is what I showed off before when I went back to the ship. But I'm just going to do it nice and quick this time because we've seen it before and we don't really need to, oh whoops. Okay, what do I do here? This is not what I expected, that's fine. I'll just take the backup strategy, which is the, to take the pole over here and then turn the camera around and jump onto this block. Then onto this block and then side flip and I think I will grab this star over here first. This is the somewhere over the rainbow star. Not to be confused with Wing Mario over the rainbow which we did two videos ago or three videos ago I think. So I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna, gonna do something really stupid. In practice I tried to get the Chuck here to throw me into it but I quickly realized that's a terrible idea and what happened was he just threw me off the stage. So I'll just do this instead. I'll just climb up to the top of this pole and land in the star that way. Kinda happy that that actually worked. Thought I was gonna have to eat my words there, but everything just worked out perfectly. So, six coins, not quite as good as 146, but I'll take it. So, jumping back in. Jumping back in. Um, I'm kinda trying to do the longest ones first, so the other one is, is back on the cruise ship as well. I'm gonna have to head back up and get that. That wall kick that I keep doing there is actually a little bit scary by the way. I know I've kind of made it look easy, but um, because those platforms are rotating, it doesn't always kind of work because you might not, like, it, when you sort of reach it to wall kick off of it, it isn't always at like a sort of good orientation and your angle can change because of that. Alright, can we do this? I think we should be able to. Nope, we can't. That's a bit crap. Damn it. And everything just went wrong there. Anything that could have possibly went wrong there just did. But that's okay. Not really too fussed about that. Just head back in and try again. This isn't a speedrun after all. I have to keep reminding myself of that. So, yeah, okay. So, I mean, that was totally my fault. I, I just literally didn't press A, or I pressed it too early or something. So it's, it's good to show what can go wrong so that when you guys try this, you won't make the same mistakes as me. So, it's, it, yeah, it's definitely worth it. Right, let's keep going. Cool. So I think, no, that's not the last time I have to do it, actually, there's one more. Because I, I need to come back here and do the red coins as well. Uh, whatever, let's just keep going. Get up to the top of this stage. It annoys me a little bit that this stage overall is going better than Tall Tall Mountain did. Oh god. Because, uh, you know, obviously this one is the last stage and it is kind of meant to be one of the hardest ones. And because there's like a bottomless pit everywhere, it, it kind of is. Yeah, I hate this bit, come on. Why can't I get it? I feel like I'm holding right. There we go. So, let's see if I can get it now. Nope, I can't. Damn, that was embarrassing. Okay, let's just get the red coin star then. Since I fall, fell down again. 
it's pretty much what we've seen before when I was doing all the coins. But uh, yeah, just have to do it again, don't we? Let's see. Wall kick off of that, wall kick off of that. I like all these little wall kicks, it looks really cool. And I can jump in here and grab this. Excellent. So let's pick that up. Only four stars to go after this, can you believe that? It's incredible. We've breezed through this game. It's not really a long game though, is it? I mean, 120 stars. Although Sunshine has 120 shines and that's much longer. Because of like the blue coins and stuff. Makes it much harder. Or not harder, but longer. Actually stupider in a lot of cases, because some of the blue coins only show up on certain missions. But um, when I eventually do that game, I'm sure I'll be ranting about that quite a lot. Ugh, whatever. Right, honestly though, I need to get it together. Um, there is an easier way to do this. I could just like long jump onto the pole down there. Uh, okay, so I <laughs> I guess I'm going to do that then, because my camera was not how I expected it to be, and it threw me off, and I'm pretty sure the orientation of that platform is no longer reliable for me. Someone more talented than me could probably still do it, but let's just let's just go and, and head back up to the ship for the last time, hopefully. Oh, that's, that's cool, and this guy wasn't even dead. Brilliant. That's how quickly I got up there and then fell back down. So, heading over here. I still don't know why it doesn't work every time. Yep, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm doing the same inputs that I did when it worked. I mean, I was even further in that time. You saw that, right? Right, let's grab this. Hopefully we can make it across. Perfect. So, uh, I'm just going to take the plank. I, I don't want to, like, risk... Um, like trying to long jump to it, although I'm pretty sure the wind wouldn't touch you unless you're actually on the ship, but that's fine. So just three more stars total, two more from this level, uh, and they're both off at that little side area. We, I think we've kind of seen both of them already, just like in the view, swing in the breeze, we'll get this one first. Just jump over here, grab the pole so I don't take fall damage, which I definitely was going to. Let's see, can I make it over? Yeah I can. Uh, I thought about this is too hard. And just do some wall kicks to get up here kinda quickly and uh, I'm actually gonna, I mean you're supposed to go across the Spongebob and up there to get to the star, you can actually just do like a triple jump off of this thing just as long as your final jump is kinda near the top of it, oh my god I cannot believe first of all that that didn't work and secondly that I survived it but yeah just you wanna make sure your triple jump is at the very top of it otherwise you won't really have enough height to make it up there but yeah Still don't have a cap on either. I mean, I haven't really... I mean, I don't think fall damage is doubled when you have your hat off. I think it's only from enemies. I don't think I've really been damaged from an enemy, so I guess I'm playing well at the moment, technically. So for this one, I, I'm going to go back up here. And the reason for that is, let me kill this so he doesn't annoy me. You can, like, long jump from the corner of this thing, because it, it's one of those walls that lets him just run into it. If your angle and speed is good enough, you can make, okay, normally you would just be able to grab it without having a wall kick, but whatever, I'll take it. So tricky triangles, best way to do it, just like that. And there we go, last star of the stage, last star of a stage, of any stage really, except for Bowser in the sky, which, uh, which we're going to do in a second, because it's just over here. But yeah, before we get to that, let me just have a quick look in here. So you can see, let's just go through it. All my coin totals looks pretty good, especially especially this one. But yeah, done, cool. So let's head in here and, and finish this up then. Uh, the endless stairs are no longer endless. I'm still going to do a backwards long jump because why not? Cool, and I landed straight in there. Brilliant. So this stage is, I mean, it's I don't think it's like actually harder than Bowser in the Fire Sea. I think it's generally not not as hard. Just backflip here and ground pound. You can make that. See if you haven't to push this block. Okay, so little shortcut you can take here. You just do a triple jump and a dive. As long as you're like close enough to the edge, like I was, you can make it over there. Looks like I'm just sort of yeah. I was gonna say it looks like I'm sort of flying without like a radar here, and I kind of was. I couldn't see where I was going. I accidentally did a dive instead of like a kick. So deserved, and I don't even feel bad. Let's just. Uh, uh, another way you can get this coin, actually, I guess I'll show that off, is if you just wall kick on that thing. Which arguably looks cooler anyway. But yeah, let's just let's just head up here. These platforms are kind of weird, the ones that let you just walk straight up them. It sort of goes against everything else you've learned in this game so far. Let's just 
get down here because there's another red coin. I mean, there's there's large portions of this level that are pretty much like useless, and we're about to see one of them. If I just oh come on, like some of this is you can tell by the sound that it makes if you've hit like a sort of quote unquote invisible wall part, or like one that you can actually wall kick off of. So this whole section over here with the Chucky and the Womp, totally useless. Gonna leave it. I'm gonna do a triple jump trick to get up this, and. There's a red coin at the very top of this thing. It's best just to take the damage, I think it's quicker. Just be careful not to fall off. So from this level here, I can long jump over. Okay, so we're about to see some, some pretty cool use of like the jump kick mechanics here. To slow his speed down, so that I can easily go over all that. Red coin over here, I don't have to take the slow way up, I can take like a... Oh god, I can take a shortcut here. If I just... Uh, like jump up here and then just mash B until he eventually grabs the pole. And here's our next red coin at the top of that pole. And the last one's way at the end of the stage, so let's just let's just get over there. Try and do some little time saving maneuvers on the elevators here. Once it's going down, you don't want to like do a long jump on that while it's still moving up because uh, it'll behave like a BLJ where it sort of traps you and you do like another long jump immediately afterwards. But there's the last star of the game. So let me just jump up here and run around and grab it very carefully because I don't want to fall off at this point. But yeah, 120 stars. The game is now basically complete. All that's left is to finish the last Bowser fight. So let's go in here and do this. There's, a there's actually something interesting I can show off in this fight. Something that I found back in like 2007, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab his tail as you're supposed to find a bomb to throw him into. What's the closest one? That one looks good. And while he's sort of flying back... Okay, it didn't really work that time, but what I was going to say is you can jump up and actually grab his tail in the air while he's sort of like being knocked back from the bomb. Uh, that angle's not very good. And uh, if, it just sort of saves a little bit of time, you know. It's going to start destroying his platform. Um, which he's going to do in a second anyway, so not too bothered about that. Let's just grab this, and where's the bomb? This one looks good. That should hit. Nope, it didn't. I really thought it was going to. Yeah, it's, this is like such an annoying thing to have to do. Um, it's going to eventually make like a star shape on the platform, which he's going to do, oh god, he's going to do regardless uh, after this round. I need to be careful not to die here. I really don't want that to happen. Alright, so hopefully... Cool, grab them sort of in the air. So I got to show off what I was what I was referencing a minute ago. Hopefully I can. Nope. Terrible throw. And one more hit from him and I'm dead, which I'm I'm like fairly certain is going to happen. Even though it definitely shouldn't. Hopefully I can just sneak behind him and grab the tail. Okay. So the the bomb's like right there. Hopefully, yeah, it looks good. Cool. So three hits and he's done. I can just stand over here. So what I said earlier about the caps was true for general gameplay, but when you grab this star it gives him a wing cap whether he has his hat on or not. But uh, yeah, I guess there's actually 121 stars, right guys? Nah, this is just taking you to the ending. And there we go. That's Super Mario 64 with glitches. Like I said, I am going to do an extra video on this series. So, you know, stick around for that. But the main part of it is now over 120 stars complete and Bowser killed, and we ended up without a cap, so that was obviously a good decision. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. Just wait for the screen to fade out before I change the thing. There we go. So thank you all for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this series, and like I said, stick around for the bonus stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.